Alrighty folks, I'm Keith Bowen. This is Hard Rock University. I'm still working on those slimes. Running about a quarter of an ounce per ton. It's already been ground up. So the question is, is there any way I can do a reasonably good concentration on that gold without a whole lot of work? Uh, you could obviously leach it, but that gets pretty expensive. And a quarter ounce to the ton micro scale probably not going to work too well. So it's uh, going to be another 110 degree day here. So I'm getting this done early in the morning. And let me show you what I've got to work with and what I've come up with and we'll see how well this works. The slimes from the you know processing I then just took them and ran them through the uh, um, concentrator again. And this is what made it through to the slimes. As you can see, this stuff is uh, pretty fine at this point. Very little coarse contamination there. So now I have something I can really play some games with. Let's see what happens. Now here is a sample of the slimes after the last run through the concentrator. As you can see, it's pretty fine and pretty nasty. So, first thing I gotta do is get it thinned out a bit so it behaves like a liquid. Okay, I think that's got it diluted enough that it now works as a liquid. So let me show you what I've come up with here. I have no idea how well it's going to work. Preliminary tests yesterday seemed to indicate the possibility of success. What I have here, just a bucket bottom, and I've got this sitting down here, introducing water into the bottom, gently, let's see if I can adjust this, there we go, that looks about right I think. Now the purpose is, this gently swirling water that's also upwelling will hopefully cause the gold to come into the center and the lighter stuff to come off the top. Let's see what happens. Let's see. As you can see, it's just a very gentle swirling motion. The idea is to lift the very finest material out and leave the gold in the bottom there. I feel like I can pour it in fairly rapidly. Because it's going to go deep. Now even if we just get a modest concentration out of this. If nothing else, it'll at least be thoroughly deslimed 
which means it'll be a lot easier to deal with if you were to leach it. What I'm hoping is to get something on the neighborhood of a 10 to 1 concentration or better. Now I could get this same kind of effect by taking the preliminary settling basin and just putting some agitation into it. Very similar to this. The preliminary settling is a 55 gallon drum. And uh, just overflowing it into like a horse trough I have laying around. And that would allow me to get what you might call a slimes concentrate in the barrel while having a I don't know, depleted slimes for disposal. Now, I did some preliminary panning on this very, very carefully, very, very gently. And I am getting some ridiculously small gold. As a matter of fact, there's some stuff there. I can't even be sure exactly what it is. It's too small to resolve. It's behaving like gold. But it's brown. Now, finally enough divided gold will appear brown. The stuff that I can resolve is 500 to 1,000 mesh basically, you know, 15 to 35 microns. That's what I can actually see with the uh, optics that I have. So it would not surprise me. The question is, will I be able to effectively concentrate that very, very fine particle size because again, there's a difference between extraction and concentration. There's a lot of different ways that you can extract gold that are just too darn expensive. They like leaching and such. You can get a, a non-toxic thiourea leach. There's a number of them out there that's suitable for a small-scale tank leaching. The problem is, it's kind of pricey. If you can come up with a concentrate running several ounces to the ton, on the other hand, it makes a lot of sense. So that's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to concentrate it, not extract it. And we shall see what we shall see. Okay, so I've put all the material through here should be in the neighborhood of 30 to 50 pounds of slimes. I'm going to let this run a little bit to kind of clear this up. Let it settle. I'm going to pan this material and then dry it. I'm going to put the whatever I catch from it, I'm going to put right back in it so that I can get a good assay. And I'll do the same thing with the uh, finer material down from here and see what happens. If the gold stays here, or at least the vast majority of it does, then it's a relatively simple modification for me to turn my 55 gallon settling tub into a giant vortex elutriation column. Now, I'm going to call this thing the mudslinger in honor of the uh, current election cycle. It, it seems pretty descriptive. That's exactly what it does. It just pushes the mud out and leaves the gold behind. And uh, we'll see what happens. Okay, it's been 15 minutes now. You can see this is pretty clear. Turn that off.
Okay, so we took uh, a bucket of material and reduced it to that. So that's five or ten to one reduction. Now we'll see what that looks like in the pan. this out of here. So I can let that settle. And then decant the liquid there. So let's see what the pan says. Okay, I've got that work down to that from that bucket bottom. Now I have found with this really fine gold, it really likes to float away from you. So you have to be very careful. At this stage here, get it down. Because if you keep redoing it, every time you put more water in there, you knock some of the gold out. So, it's best if you do it all at once. Now let's see if we can get this here. Now up above the white, all that's gold in there. Especially stuff right at the top there. Perhaps you can get an idea of just how fine it is. And see how it doesn't look yellow, it looks kind of brown? That is some fine gold. Now let's see what happens if we try and redo that. How much gold we can keep. Ooh. You can see this gold here has reduced a fair amount. You don't see as much up here. That floated out. Now that stuff there is 500 mesh minus. There's a few chunks up there that are more in the neighborhood of 300 mesh. But most of that, see if I can get the lighting just right, most of that's 500 to 1,000 mesh. So we'll see what this assays. That would leach really fast if we, if we were effectively able to capture the gold in that bucket bottom. And there is from the large tub. This looks to be very fine gold right here. Doesn't look like nearly as much. But we shall see what the assays show. So, now I can get out of these grubbies and uh, put on some clean clothes. Happy prospecting and keep it safe out there.